But, um, oh, actually, there's four. Wow, this is actually my first time seeing this. I have never seen this before in anybody's island. Seriously. I've never seen this before. Alright, save it, save it. I know you guys missed this uh, series, okay? We're back with another episode. This is episode 9 of reviewing your accounts. So, this is going to be me reviewing your accounts. If you would like to be featured in one of my future videos, make sure you go ahead and comment down below your profile name and your team name. Sometimes when I go ahead and look up players, they tend to move around from team to team. So, maybe stick to your team i guess um but yeah i hope you guys do enjoy today's video and if you do make sure you drop a like subscribe anyways it's going to get started now the reason for me making these videos account reviews reviewing your accounts right is to help you improve in the game become better players um so if anything let's say if you have any flaws i mean everybody does right so even like my account if you go ahead and take a look at it I can go ahead and actually spot my like me myself i can actually spot a few things that i can actually do better on so that's why the whole video like the point of this video is to help you become better improve in the game so yeah let's go ahead and get started guys the first player we have is beastie beats from stronger together this player is in legendary 4 it's a level 104 player has 420 uh monsters and 74k mp again mp doesn't really matter really it's just there you know what i mean i mean it does help when you want to look for a team and you know that team let's say has a hundred thousand mp requirement then sure but other than that it doesn't really help you much really it just depends um on what you have and which monsters you're focusing on things like that like you you could see a player with 300 000 monster power and that player retired back in legendary era and you can like for example choose a player like this obviously this player will go ahead and beat them but the thing is the meta changes right so this player would definitely definitely beat that player um so just uh just to throw that out there let's go ahead and take a look at the attack team we have naya i'm assuming it's a supporter naya because it's paired up with serpentex for the double damage i see and then also the 50 percent damage boost as well and then you have fropsy as your tank okay not bad um i would suggest you have naya super fast if you go up against anticipation all she can do is apply the double damage so i don't think that's that effective maybe maybe slow this down make naya slower since you have a triple string serpent six to so try to make this monster speed as close as possible to this one so that you know if you go up against anticipation which you most likely will on pvp there's a lot of galvanus and things like that so you can go ahead and turn transfer or apply the double damage and then from there serpentix can go crazy um you do have sky uh, sky gold right so this is one of the newest tanks i do like this a lot maybe swap that speed ring with a team speed or something and then you have ural and lord Haman for your defense i don't know about that to be honest i mean i see i see the play but i don't think it's gonna work out that much i would maybe suggest swapping out probably Heyman for an attacker actually Heyman's pretty good don't get me wrong but like it would just do better if it was an attacker because i know you have a so what's it called a resurrector but they can always just go ahead and use a block resurrection monster or spare of destiny to stop you and once they get rid of lord Heyman, everything else is super easy to you know beat and king adam would definitely counter this team very very nicely um so yeah king adam's a hard counter i would say let's see your best tournament was top 1900 yeah again it doesn't really matter as long as you maintain that top 1000 spot i'm talking about from top 1000 to top two they get the same exact rewards uh, as i always mentioned so try to see if you could actually get yourself to that legendary one the top 1000 so you can get the same rewards as everybody else up until top two Teamers contribution, I see that you have 20k points. Your last team contribution was 9,700. Not bad. And was that, I think that was Coral's race, right? If I'm not mistaken. No, actually that was this one, right? Zero zone. So you guys went for like a rank one. Not bad. You're, you're actually doing pretty good. Helping your team out, I see. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at your best monsters. Wow, I'm actually jealous that you have Tideborn and you have Iron Wings. I personally don't have that. Even though I spent 100 bucks on this, I didn't even get it that is amazing good job um if you can i know it's difficult but if you can try to pull some more cells and rank these monsters up focus on these two but right now at 100 although they can compete in some uh, with some monsters that you go up against but i don't know really like i don't know if it's gonna 
too much against those guys. Maybe if it's like at least rank two and above, sure, they can compete against 150s. Uh, but it's it's cool that you have them though, you know what I mean? Azadrian is a decent tank if you want to go ahead and focus on that for the magic element. Um, but I see that you have Scared Cold and Fropsy. They're just better to focus on. So if you have those two, since you do have those two, you should actually focus on them uh, instead. And then let's see. The ones I'm not going to mention, I would just not invest in it. Just skip it, basically. So most of these monsters are not looking that good. This one right here. This one's not bad. As a supporter, you can actually rank this one up, invest in him. He's good. Yeah, Fropsy's already maxed out, so good job. Oh, yeah, max this one out. Fold Secret Demon's pretty good. Some players use this a lot, so if you want to go ahead and use it as a supporter. I know she has some denial skills as well, but she's mainly used for support. So, it's actually not that bad if you want to go ahead and max that out. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at what this player got. Alright, so we have... The metal and water i'm assuming you have a water and metal mix here i see a lot of metal monsters there are some thunder ones as well and you do have the thunder uh you know little temples not the temples what, what do they call them the the boosts right so that's a, a help with uh with increasing gold basically uh that's good that's good you got some light monsters light boost and also the metal ones as well so you have three elements all mixed together not bad but, um, oh, actually, there's four. Wow, this is actually my first time seeing this. I have never seen this before in anybody's island. Seriously, I've never seen this before. So for now, I would say it's fine. But later on, when you go ahead and get a lot of mythics, replace these legendary habitats, you will have to, you know, only focus on two the most in one island. Because it's just difficult having three or four all in one island. It's, it's just better... To actually move, you know, or have at least two in here and then one here, one here, or whatever, you know what I mean? It, you'll make a lot more gold because you'll have more monsters. Um, so, yeah, you'll have tons tons more. But right now, I think it's fine for your level, the level that you're in. I think you're doing pretty good, I would say. But uh, later on, you definitely have to actually change that up a little bit. Like, um, have for your primary island, it would be just like two elements the most. So that could be either metal with water or light with thunder or whatever it is. Or fire, I meant, not water. Uh, but yeah, you get what I mean though, right? So, yeah, for now it's fine. But later on, you definitely have to move that th thing around. Ooh, you have three of these habitats. Cool. You do have these three unlocked. Um, I'm hoping you have these two maxed out. And then later on, you can max this one out too. I see that you have a bunch of dark monsters here. Okay. And then all your nature monsters are together with the legendary habitats. I'm glad you have these here. That's good. And oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I was looking for this. Yeah, you know what? This is not bad. It's pretty close to your... Um, I know you can't see it right now. I'm talking about the uh, premium island that, you know, gives you access to double the resources. So for team race, it helps. Um, and then you got some more fire monsters like I mentioned, you know what I mean? For now it's fine, but later on you, you'll definitely have to um, Focus on only two elements for that primary island and not four. You have all your mo water monsters here Whoa, where, where's the habitat on this one? <laughs> um, okay, this one's just all random. So this one's fine I mean, it, I have something like this too in like one of these islands. I think I think it's this one right here um, on my island and it's, it's completely fine but this player, this player already has quite a lot of space. Well, you might actually have to swap out these legendary habitats soon with uh, with mythic habitats. I see that you're actually working on them, so yeah, it's it's gonna take some time, but you'll get there though. But I do I do like what you're doing though. This is actually pretty good. Good job. All your earth monsters are there. Yeah, I mean, technically right now, technically you have one, two about two three actually about three islands free or two and a half actually if you count this as a half two and a half islands free right now and you can always swap them out for mythic habitats because mythics are better you you should focus on mythics and mythics only uh, obviously later on it's gonna be ancestrals but right now mythics but i'm glad this is maxed out so that's that's good but yeah overall looking good now the previous player that we went ahead and reviewed the account for that was a free-to-play player so is this one and this player wants to know how this player can actually improve so let's go and get started all right so milo is a returning player and the note was how do, how do i what notes i should actually give to improve this uh, player's account so you have kill drill kill drill is 
a decent attacker. It used to be pretty good back in the day. Um, but right now it's it's all right. I mean, if you are a return of player, almost any mythic is really good. Uh, so even though this is from Metro era against like Cupid's or Pensix nowadays, it's not that bad. But then the thing is, it's missing out on some of the fancy stuff like Pierce, Dodge area, things like that. So if you go up against a King Adam or something and the base is not open, it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough battle. So. I see that you're pairing up with Naya. Definitely invest in Naya. It's one of the best monsters still up to date. So I'd uh, highly recommend investing in this. And then King Adam is pretty good too. So focus on these two. Kill Drill, you might have to swap this out for a better attacker. But for now, I guess if that's what you have, focus on it or just uh, continue using it. A low death, not so good uh, anymore, unfortunately. So you'll have to swap that out. If Pure Panda is all you have, He's not bad, but he's really good at rank 5 because of that airy evasion. Uh, and then you do have Bombetta still as your tank. Let me see what um, you can actually do to improve. So I see that you're actually helping with team race as well, so that's good. Your best tournament was Legendary 4. Hey, that's actually pretty good for your level. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, I would suggest focusing on... Let's see, let's see. He's alright. Okay, he's okay. Not the best attacker, but for a returner player, he's not that bad. So if you want to focus on him, level him up to 100 and swap him out with a low death, because the stats, the stats will make a difference. Okay, um, if you want, if you want, you can swap it out. You don't have to. Yeah, um, let's take a look at this drag. Oh, you have a drag bite and you don't, why aren't you using drag bite instead of a low death? Swap a low death. Seriously, use this drag bite. I know it's a 134, but this 115, it's from Galactic Era compared to a monster from Metro Era. Dude, start using this. This is good. And he has access to that Cold Blood and Bleeding Hater. Later on, you can go ahead and maybe rank it up. Yeah, you have drag bite. Use that. Let's see. Let's see. Um, so again, focus on these two. And then you have Enhancer. Enhancer is okay. If it was ranked up, I would have suggested swapping this with Kill Drill. Sparkus is actually not that bad, so if you want to invest in him, he's pretty good from the Dooms era. If you need a Resurrector, this one is okay. Um, and then the remaining, I'm not really a huge fan of. Let's go ahead and uh, visit your island. But yeah, do you have Dragbite? Invest in Dragbite. Go ahead and swap it out. Dragbite's not bad. Uh, except maybe if you go up against your Fensex or Cupid, but you don't see that until maybe like Legendary 4 or something. Or like a ranked up version, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at what you got here. So you have, um, your Thunder monsters here, right? Okay, so I, I see that you're working on your main island. It's not fully done yet, so I can't really judge it. But I would suggest, I would suggest, um, maximizing your gold. So even if you have to, the first player that I did the account review on in this video, you can probably do the four elements the way he did it. So you would have like, let's say, thunder, fire, dark, and metal, whatever it was, you know what I mean? Or you could do whatever element mix that you want. So you could do something like that. For your level, since you don't have access to, I see this island right here, um, or this one, then yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. I would say just have like a bunch of them. And later on, when you get more mythics, swap out these legendary habitats, so, you know, move all these legendary monsters into the vault and swap their habitats with mythics and replace them that way. Uh, these three, as always, it's best to either have them right here or to have them right on this island or maybe even right here. But since you do have some of your um, food farms, I would suggest having all your food farms in this island. So get rid of all these habitats, put them somewhere else and have all your food farms in this island right here. And then the monster vault, you can probably place that right here where this farm is or somewhere else. See another food farm right there. So it's just best, it's just best to have them all together. And then see another one's right here, more right here. It's just all over the place. So try to have them all in that one little island, okay? Um, I see that you have all your metal monsters there. Not bad. This is actually pretty good. I like this. Rock monsters are here. See, again, it's just... I feel like it's kind of a waste of space. Have them all, you know, spread out. It's just best to have them all in one spot so that you can go ahead and 
build in another mythic habitat in here you know what i mean because i feel like maybe you can squeeze in a mythic habitat right here but if you go ahead and move this king uh, adam habitat a little bit over here you can actually place another one right about here or something um you can definitely squeeze something it's just i feel like it's a waste of space um light monsters not bad not bad I hope these guys are getting 20% as well, or I think it's 40% actually. I hope they're getting 40, the 40%. If not, then place all these four together in the middle. Uh, but anyways, magic monsters there, water, and then you have these three unlocked. Focus on this, maxing this out first with three stars, and then move on to this one, and then this should be your final. This is level 10, good job. So yeah, everything's not... Everything's looking good. I, I think you're going in the right direction. It's just that you will have to switch some things here and there and you'll get there. Next player we have in line is Elephant Gaming from Legion of the Elite level 80 player. This player wants me to find him a good PvP setup. So let's see what we're working with here. Okay, so best tournament Metro Tournament 3, which was bring 57k. Uh, basically in this specifically, um, for level 80, I mean, it's okay. I would say try to get yourself to the Legendary 4 if you can. Try to push as hard as possible. I'll give you a good team here. All right, so for attack team right now, you're using double the attacker with this. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to swap this out. Then you have a tank with attacker and alchemist. Okay, so this is your denier and you have your attacker with... Okay, definitely swap out that life rune. You don't want that life. Um, So here's the thing. I need to see what you have here in order for me to actually give you a good team. Okay, so... Ooh, okay. So I would suggest using Alchemistic the way you are uh, with the triple speed. Loronian, you can actually use this as an attacker. Yeah, some so, some people would be surprised. This can actually do a good amount of damage against light monsters, and there's lots of light monsters on PvP. So I know he doesn't have access to the, the Pierce, which is the fancy stuff like I always say, uh, no dodge area, things like that, but it's okay. If the base is open, if you get lucky enough, this monster could actually deal a good amount of damage if you actually run it up uh, as attacker. So I would say do two strength and one speed for Loronian. And then Alchemistic could be the triple speed the way it is. You know, you can go ahead and deny in the beginning. And then you could probably pair it up with a Zajin as your tank. So this right here, the first three that you see right here, could be a setup for either your defense or PvP team. It's up to you which one you want to do. Um, I would maybe suggest having it for... Actually, it works both ways. It works both ways. So you can either do defense or PvP. Now, Gaspagor, this is the attacker, right? Mixed with supporter in a way. So if you want to run this as fully attacker, you can. Or you can actually use this monster um, as a supporter. But no, this is triple damage is actually for itself. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, use this as, a, as one of your attacker. Gaspagor is not bad. So continue feeding this one up and replace it with, for example, maybe either... Actually, Lucky Clint is actually not that bad with the Anticipation, and it is at 130 compared to 158, or just the 58 that it is. Um, continue using this, but I would say if you can rank it up, then swap this out with that Lucky Clint, or at least a low death for sure. A low death, yeah, this monster all it does really is just attack, and then there are some damage mirror skills with reverse healing, things like that. So... What I would suggest is definitely level this up to 100 and then swap it out with a low death. And then you need a tank. Or actually, you can probably use Chuckle Muckle because of the anticipation and also this monster provides um, damage boosts, healings, things like that. You can use this as your supporter. But since you have it at 110, replace it with a low death and or replace it with maybe this one, Termagorn. So Chuckle Muckle instead of Termagorn. And then uh, this level 58, if you could actually get this to 100, replace it with the low death and then continue using Lucky Clint till later on when you find a good uh, tank to use or replace it with. So all you really need right now is another tank that's actually good. Um, it doesn't have to be the best, so it could be someone as good as maybe King Adam if you could get that, if you get your hands on it. Sometimes it does come in sale, so you can save up to like 300 gems or something it comes around you can get that egg and then uh have enough food and you know level it up to 100 so i would say king adam if you can pick it up from either the monster lab sometimes it comes around or the actual shop so here uh for your main island um it's not panic and farming it's just a mix of all one two three four 
five elements right six four five six somewhere around there okay so yeah i would i would suggest um making your main island full of mythics and then have those mythics together like let me see if you have let's say light monsters have light monsters all together like maybe four habitats or something and have all the boosts around even if it's just one mythic it doesn't matter just have them in there it's just better it makes more gold than these little monsters all together okay so i would suggest uh, doing something like that and then later on when you have more gold you can go ahead and upgrade those habitats place in more monsters with them so they can make even more gold uh but right now i feel like every almost everything is just everywhere uh it's all over the place except this one but then actually this one is all over the place too like the elements you see we have nature thunder uh earth with earth and then we have another earth monster with um i think that's dark so yeah do -do -do. these ones are still for sale i see this one's not bad the placement but definitely move this again maybe make your main island full of mythics and then you're working on more habitats i say so yeah i mean as a returning player i can see it's, it's gonna be a, a bit difficult you know it's gonna be a lot of stress moving all of these and swapping them out with, with mythic habitats if you don't want to do it right now it's fine but later on you'll you'll be forced to definitely because you'll have a lot of mythics and you would want to switch these out with mythic habitats since they make more gold but anyways oh these things I feel like they're a waste of space so what you could do is actually right now you're fine since you have um i would say some space right you have some space right here maybe right there too but um or right there too but like have them in the same island as the elements as their elements you know what i mean so if you focus on your main island as with fire and water then have both of those temples together and then move out the other ones where they need to be um so i see that you already worked on these two I feel like you should have worked on this first and then this and this should be your third but that's fine definitely work on this as, as soon as you can because if you could get this to three stars it doubles your food which is pretty nice and you can get a lot of food level up those monsters including that gaspagor um it just takes time it, it takes time so it will take a while but i think you can do it um i see that you have all your food farms here together maybe swap out all the food farms and place them right here and you can move these habitats where these guys are like the food farms i think that's better level seven um i think level seven is all right for now but later on try to work on this like you get it as high as possible you know what i mean but anyways everything's looking fine um just there are some adjustments that you can make next player we have in line is f from this team right here it's one of the co-leads I, wait, I thought you can't have a single letter. I thought it had to be at least four in order for them to actually let you change your name. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Um, I guess kind of cool at the same time. It's just like a single letter. But anyways, let's see what we got here. This player is a free-to-play player. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, it's a level 83. All right. So your attack team. Attack team is actually not that bad. Double dodge area with this attacker. What's, uh, what's the speed here? See, again, Naya is super fast. That's not good. So what I would recommend doing is making you can actually do Ural go first and then naya and then it will be serpentix because Ural can go ahead and ner then you can do naya for the double damage or the 50 percent damage boost and then the double damage and even the extra turn if that's something you can do if there's no inspiration and then serpentix could do a lot more i feel like you can actually win a lot of battles that way if you're going to use this attack team Make Ural go first, and then Naya, and then Serpentix. But have their speed as close as possible to each other. Even if it means if you have to go with like a life with speed rune on Ural or something. Things like that, you know what I mean? Defense team. What do we have here? So you have Elvira, and then you have Teddy Bomb, and this. So what I would recommend doing, run this as, a, as your attacker. Don't run it as a denier. It works better as an attacker. And then run Elvira as a supporter. Um, I know it's not maxed out, so you don't have that area evasion. But still, you can go ahead and take advantage of the damage boost that she actually provides. There is this one skill that gives double damage with NER. So you could probably use that. Teddy Bomb goes in right after and basically um, attacks. Uh, you will have to swap out some of these skills. For example, take the glasses. It should be swapped with uh, that one AOE skill that does a lot of damage. It's like a fire skill and applies tortures. Uh, as Ajin, it's really tanky. I would do maybe two life the most, if anything, with a team speed. Anyways, let's see what we got here. 
All right, so what level 83? With these monsters, I feel like you could probably get to at least... I wouldn't say Legendary 4, but... If you can actually level these up, you could definitely get to Legendary 4 and, and probably above. Uh, with like better runes and things like that, but... Yeah, um, let's take a look at uh, the activity stats here. Not much of a racer. I don't I don't judge. I, I used to be a really good racer too back then, but... Anyways, Azajan. Azajan is not bad to invest in, so... You can probably continue investing in this one. Okay. Jarman, if you need a if you need a supporter, like a triple damage booster, Jarman's not bad. He's pretty solid. We're gonna skip all these ones because none of them are actually worth investing in. Um this is a decent denier. If you need a monster with time stops and things like that, he's okay. He's kinda good for maybe your team wars if you want to use it. He's gonna be good. Voltic, man, you have Voltic light flash <laughs> all right so yeah um i would say definitely definitely focus on this you want to max this monster out even if it means you have to spend astronauts on it so take it to the dungeons things like that you know what i mean you want to you want to max this one out this one's good okay and you can later on replace this with maybe either teddy bomb or someone else um yeah definitely teddy bomb this is better than teddy bomb uh then you have oh you have boss rex boss rex is good this one's good if at rank five <laughs> that the intersection but even with that taunt, if you get it to rank 1, or even with that 50% life shield at rank 4, wow, that's rank 4? Dang, okay. So yeah, if you could actually level that one up, invest in it a little bit. He's good. And, oh, Koi Boy is actually pretty good with that Mega Taunt. It's a water monster too. Lutian, if you need a supporter, it's pretty good. And that's pretty much it. I'm not really a huge fan of Psychaos. Maybe some of you guys are, but I think there's just better deniers in Psychaos out there. Alright, so... What do we have here? I see that you have nature monsters with thunder. And is that all? Yeah, nature and thunder. Mixed on your first main island. Okay, not bad. And I'm glad that they're actually like together. You know what I mean? It's not spread out. Like that. So, looking, it's looking good. It is looking good. Where's your final boost? I only see one, two, three. Am I blind? Where's the, where's the final one? Oh, maybe you're working on getting it, huh? Or maybe I'm actually blind, I don't see- Oh, there it is! Wow, it was hiding! Look, right there! Okay. Oh, level 10, this is good. For level 83 player, that's good. You want to max this out, this is good. It's gonna help you out in the long term. Uh, all your water monsters are together, dark. You do have these three unlocked. Fire monsters here. And then you have... Metal, I'm assuming? Oh, it's actually Earth with... Just random legendaries, I guess. Um, that's, that's fine, but later on, obviously, take care of it. Metal monsters here, but no monsters. Um, I would suggest moving your metal monsters in here so that you can actually take advantage of these boosts. If you have any metal, I'm sure you have some. I have, I mean, you have Naya, right? So where the heck is Naya? Yeah, right here. Well, I mean, she is receiving boosts there. That's fine. But if you have any metal monsters, definitely move them here. I know you have at least one. Come on. Um, let's see. You got your light monsters here. And these are all just random, random, fine. Mine used to be like this later on. I swapped them out with like mythic habitats. Uh, oh yeah, okay. So when it comes down to this, here's the thing. I would say, I would say do this. Your whole, all the habitats that you have here with the boost, literally just copy this, paste it right here and copy all your food farms, paste it over here. So basically swap them out. These two islands right here. Okay. And then this, you can probably move it right here, if not right here. I, I see that this is busy, so maybe just move it right here instead of the food farms and have all these habitats with monsters. Place them right here and maybe right here if you want. Um, but yeah, okay, so everything's looking quite all right. It is looking quite all right. I wish I could see the beast too, but it doesn't let me. But yeah, you're heading in a good direction. See? This is just in a random spot. It's just better if you have them all together in one island. See another one right there. But anyways, um, overall, not bad. Um, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, so again, put them all in one spot. You can probably fit another one, maybe two habitats the most. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's Monster Gens account review. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you enjoyed as well. And if you want to be featured, make sure you go ahead and drop a like. And let me know in the comments down below your team name and also your profile. But anyways guys... I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.